located on Sturgis Street. The Falcon Works consisted of many buildings, most of which aren't around anymore. Built as an extension to the Falcon Works from 1902 till 1905, these workshops and warehouse ranges is most of what's left. William Henry Goss, the owner of the Falcon Works at the time, then handed over the firm to two of his sons, Victor Henry and William Huntley, shortly after the extension was built. William Goss died just one year later in 1906 and was buried in Hearts Hill Cemetery. At the time, the business and its effects were valued at £59,603 equivalent to £6 million today. The firm fell behind with modern designs after Victor Henry died in a horse riding accident. William Huntley was left in charge and wasn't interested in progress. Work here seemed to continue up until at least the 70s, as you can see from this worker's clock card. Liquid clay would be poured into these moulds, then removed and taken across the road to the kilns for firing. In 2011, the works was sold by Port Merion to a company called Conexa. In 2014, plans were approved to convert the old Falcon Works into 46 affordable flats. The fate of these old Falcon Works though is yet to be determined. <laughs>